As I've mentioned in previous videos, I'm a big fan of Malcolm Tibbetts' work. And I thought I'd like to try to recreate one of these pieces. I started with a basic diagram that I drew on my computer and then used block layer to calculate the size of the rings that I would need. Then I started cutting on the miter saw. I would need several rings for this piece. The first and smallest ring would be mostly waste because I'm going to use it to mount it to the lathe using a faceplate. I'm using reclaimed wood here. This is from a broken table. I think it's maple. I had a lot of oak from a broken cabinet, so I used it to make several more rings. I'm trying to get these rubber bands around these is very difficult without having them fly apart. So I glue them into half rings using dowels to keep them separated just to ensure there's good contact. Once the half rings are glued up, I take them over to the disc sander and sand the faces parallel. I also sanded the surfaces of the two rings so I can glue them together. I simply put a weight on top of them, in this case paint cans. So I pre-drilled the holes for the faceplate, sanded the next surface flat so I can glue on the next ring. These oak boards were pretty wide but sometimes the edges weren't straight so I had to resaw them with a jigsaw. So at this point I wish I had a bandsaw. So I just continued to make rings. This is ash. It used to be a bed frame. The ash is really hard, so it took me forever to sand one face. Continuing to make more rings out of reclaimed ash from the same bed. I created a profile template from a piece of cardboard that represents the profile of my torus. I decided it would be faster simply to turn this face flat rather than try to sand it flat. I measured the outside diameter of my blank to ensure they are all the same size. And then I started turning the profile. It was very tedious because I kept stopping to compare the profile to my cardboard template. I had a few gaps to fill, so I just filled them with CA glue. My glue ups weren't perfect. And while that dried, I decided that I wanted to add some more visual interest, so I had some scraps of mahogany, but I made some dowels. I cut up small plugs in order to go in some holes that I was going to drill. While that was drying, I started on another blank. After that was done, I went back to turn all the plugs flat and then sanded it. Once the outside was done, I just reversed it on the faceplate. Then turned the inside. It didn't have to be perfect, I just wanted to make it lighter weight. 
And then I very carefully parted it from the leaf. Once again, I reversed it on the cool jaws, using a piece of cardboard as a spacer and sort of protect the metal and the tools from touching each other, just to remove that sharp edge on the inside. Tested the fit. Pretty good, so I glued it together. I hand sanded the inside, and then power sanded the outside. Then the moment of truth. As much as it pained me to do this, I cut it in half so I can make a captive ring. Then glued it back together. Once it air dried for a little bit, I came back to smooth it out and then finished it with lacquer. It's certainly not perfect, but I really like how it turned out. I'm really excited about this one. So if you've made it this far, thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully you'll come back next time to Cammy's Garage.